Okay. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to open the door and be like, hey. So <laughs> you, you open the... You open the door, and Ezra's standing there. He's uh, shirtless and has his oh God. Run, he has his running shorts on. So he's definitely like he's covered in sweat. He just came back from his morning jog. Um, oh dear God. Okay. Ooh. Well. Yeah, we can actually start. Someone has to go through <laughs> what happened two weeks ago, which was it's the last kind of time we played. Please, I can't do it. I, I can't remember. Oh. <laughs> okay, um, you can go. Uh, oh, wait. I have my sheets up. Um, if you don't have it, I, I mean, I can go through it. I do know. Well, but... It's my turn. I can do this. <clears throat> um, getting my sheet up is loading. And my notes yeah. are right here that I definitely took. Um, okay. I'm pretty, pretty producer-like of you, Catherine. Mm -hmm. God damn. Um, so I'm just going <laughs> to read my notes exactly as they are. Okay. Team Wild was the ones. They, them was the ones. Uh, they are the uh, ones. <laughs> <laughs> Team Wild is the ones. The ones. ones. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> um, Lee punched the bound guy in the face. Mm -hmm. Xavier now has a. What? Yeah. That's what it says. Xavier now has a. Oh, he uh -huh. has an Eevee. He has an Eevee. He has an Eevee now? Okay, thank you. Yeah, um, so. Lee committed war crimes. I remember that. Um, <clears throat> uh, other guy has a question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Oh, it's a geo. It's a rock and roll. Uh, yeah, rock and roll. It's a rock. It's like a. It's like the Gen Five Geo dude. Gen yeah. Five Geo dude. Cool. Except yeah. It's, <laughs> it's less muscular though, so you know yeah. you could take the go with the bad. <laughs> uh, Cymex punched a dude and got in super trouble and has the queen duty for two camps. Mm -hmm. Reggie convinces Nurse Joy to heal Metapod with a Chansey. That was super cute. Yeah. Um, oh, I remember that. Yeah, everybody was in the lines. Uh, gotta fight Derek next Tuesday night. Reggie got tricked <laughs> by some ghost force type shit. Yeah. Um, and Xavier Lee and Reggie are all on the team mess with Camp 19. Reggie went up and did the trick. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's some that Lee's, Lee's character did. That I didn't write down. What did we? What, what did we? Got oh, and then we got the Pokemon balls. We're gonna go do the Pokemon things. Mm, yeah. <laughs> what Pokemon things? Uh, I mean that's not wrong. I'm just no, no, very we, just them, we got them as a, a reward, right? For like yes, I got them. the Metapod, and you guys just got balls, so you can actually catch your <laughs> good Pokemon. Yeah. Nice. Um, and then I think we just had to sleep after that, right? Like, although that that Ronald guy is like, Ronald. Me for some reason. Oh yeah, in um, Cymex is gonna have to clean Ronald. the bathrooms or something. Yeah, yeah. I have a clean duty. So I can get intel on Camp Nineteen. Yes. Yeah, and, and we're gonna engage in a prank war with them. There's somebody other, some one other person in Camp Nineteen who's mean. Uh, Lee's roommate. I'm dope. No, we camp camp twenty is your as camp. Camp nineteen is oh, the only oh. other camp I've introduced by name. It's, it's the guy, the the counselor, right? That dude. Derek. Derek. Yeah. Derek. You guys met Derek and Ali, who are there are the counselors for that one. Ali didn't say yeah. a lot because Derek was like immediately punched. Um, he has but, the snorlax. He prevented people from exiting a fire exit. He's he did. Fighting yeah. dangerous. But Anne had fun because she's Anne. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, I think you hit most of the main points. Yes, you guys got some intel intel from Team Wild. They're the evil group. They're releasing wild Pokemon into the Hito region. Um, Reggie cannot read and was told he will be having reading lessons with the Christopher, who is the leader, <laughs> the head scientist of the whole camp. Um. You guys, oh, yes. Hair just looks really weird. 
Yeah, right? his Gyarados was drawn uh, weirdly, so it's like all like <laughs> messed up. Um, yeah, Metapod was given to Cymax. Y'all got balls. Uh, let's see, y'all got one Ultra Ball. Just kidding, just one Ultra Ball. And then those guys got new Pokemon for those ones that got stolen. I think you guys hit most of the main <laughs> points after that. Um, yeah, you guys did a, a little skit that got partly ruined and partly went okay. So then y'all went to bed, and now they'll be the next morning. So wait one second. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> going on there. I wanted to just rise up out of the frame like. <laughs> You're getting raptured. Yeah, I'm manifesting. Oh. Oh, I'm going well. <laughs> the titties. My titties. <laughs> okay. Oh, actually, there's one other thing I need to mention. I forgot. You guys will each get 400 pokey dollars for beating the grunt. Nice. I guess. I guess you cleaned his pockets out, or Christopher <laughs> grabbed the money and handed it to you. But you each get 400 pokey dollars on top of what I like that we. I like the idea that we just sort of like went through his pockets and took his money. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, we can say you did that then. <laughs> but I just wanted to make sure you all got your money. Oh, and your. Your Pokemon all leveled up too. I forgot to mention that. You're all of new yeah. level yeah, two level Pokemon. Yes. Yeah. So that already happened. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure everyone remembered. I so. made a sheet for Metapod, and his name apparently is Podrick. Podrick. Okay. Because he's a pod. I love that. Make sure you think of Diary of the Wimpy Kid with <laughs> Roderick, right? I think Roderick. <laughs> Roderick. Um, that was a does place. Metapod get any experience? No, it'll have. Uh, we'll have however much gets it to level two. Was that two hundred or something like that? Eh, it can have some more because Metapod's gonna take forever to level up. So, you know, it can have five hundred in total. Sick. So I think that's three hundred away from leveling up. So, okay. So Lee, you hear some pounding on your door. Oh, and okay. Ezra says, wake up, wake up. Can I uh, peek in? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to stumble to the door. But I'm going to fix my hair on the way there. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. on him. I'm back. Yes. So, yeah, Willow's going to be rumble grumbly. And uh, are you going to open the door? Or are you still fixing um, your hair or what? Yeah, yeah. Wait, I'm going to open the door. Wait. What kind of pajamas are you wearing? Oh my gosh. I'm wearing like... Um, I don't know, just like a t-shirt and uh, just like loose pants, like just pajama pants, just like something, I don't know, it's pretty basic. So that's what, what I, I will wear. I feel like that's character. what my character would wear. But it has like a ponytail. It's like a big ponytail shirt. Okay. Yeah, it looks like those airbrush t-shirts you get at like those <laughs> fake Native American stores in the mall. That's have some like Guy Fieri pants. With <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to open the door and be like, hey. So <laughs> you open the, you open the door and Ezra's standing there. He's uh shirtless and has his oh my god. Run, he just has running shorts on. So he's definitely like he's covered in sweat. He just came back from his morning jog. Um Dear god. <laughs> he's like, "Up and at him. You guys have we're going to go catch some Pokémon today. You ready, Lee?" Um um um, yeah, um, wow. Okay, just wake up Willow. <laughs> I have I have to go help the other kids. So wake up Willow, you know, and get, get get come out here, you know, do all your hygiene stuff, and we're gonna meet at the campfire in like fifteen minutes. Okay. Uh, so he, <laughs> hmm? Okay, is he just like gonna run away? Like what's well, yeah, he's gonna go to the next uh tent, but unless you have okay. like something to call him back for, but he's gonna go to the next tent. I have something to call him back for? If you do, no. But otherwise, he yeah, he just goes to the next tent and is going to start knocking on that one, uh, and okay. we'll continue around. Wait, that one is Xavier and Roderick or whatever. Barrett? Xavier and Barrett. Um, yeah, I mean, I wasn't going to go through each person's intro. Uh, that was mostly just to make Lee see 
her crushed shirtless and sweaty. <laughs> oh, um, I'm trying but, to you for that. <laughs> but uh, he goes around and wakes the rest of you up, more or less, unless you want to have an interaction with Ezra shirtless, and you can. But <laughs> anybody, any takers? <laughs> Uh, you see Autumn's dragging her feet out of her tent. She's complaining about how early it is, because it is 5 a.m. It's, like, real early to be getting up for a little kid. And shit over the entire thing. Wait, what? Sorry. Oh, okay. Like a night filter over everything. Oh, that probably would have been a good idea, but nope. I don't have that. So, <laughs> here it is. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, you guys can... Do whatever you want to do in the morning, like right when you're getting up. Oh, okay. Well, I guess because I was just there, I'm going to um, probably not even try to wake Willow up because I really mm -hmm. just don't care what she does. I'm going to jump in the bathroom before she gets a chance because I know it's going to take her forever. Um, it's a If you remember, it's like a public bathroom off to the right. There's oh, no bathroom sorry. in like your tent. It's like you have to walk out. And there's like a public shower house and bathroom to the right of your campsite. Okay, I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to let out Sassmaster because he slash she needs their daily brushing. So okay. that's going to take a while. Um, do you check your phone? Because you're the only kid with a phone out of the main group. Me? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I mean, I guess I'll check my phone. Do you have to decide what's on there for me? Um, well, I was going to – I had a thing – um yeah, so okay. you have a text from your mom asking how your first day of camp went okay um i'll just say good period oof damn okay well you send that to her um she's like a kind of across the globe she's in a whole different region so it might take her a while to see it she might still be sleeping but yeah different time zone so your mom checked in on you and you said good gotcha okay mm -hmm. that's all i had <laughs> Dang, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Like, I feel like that's what I would say. Like, because I wouldn't really want to be texting my mom. Okay. Know? So you go to the bathrooms then? We don't have to go through. Were we you don't expecting have to... something greater for my mom text? No. No. Maybe I could you... just send her a picture of Sass Master. Oh my goodness. You can do whatever you want. It's your character. I'm not. Okay, I'm going to send her a picture of Sass Master. <laughs> okay. You send a picture and you send good. Yes. And it's like a beautiful picture because Sass Master is so photogenic. Does it have any filters? Um, I'm gonna put like some stickers on it here. I'll, I'm gonna draw a picture of the picture I take, but you guys do your thing. Well, it's gonna be like, ugh, you put stickers on it? You could make it look a lot better with just a, a nice filter. I'm gonna do like the blingy stuff on it. So. <laughs> okay, do you two want to do anything? The uh, Cymex or Reggie? Um, anything in particular? You don't have to. <laughs> I don't really have anything. I guess I'll just go get ready. <laughs> okay, as you exit your uh, tent, you're going to see on your door there's a note, and it's going to say, the, Chris will have a private teaching lesson with you tomorrow night at the library. <laughs> Damn it. So, <laughs> tomorrow night at, right. uh, in, in the evening time, you will be having a private t reading session with him. Okay. Sounds good, I guess. Wait, can he even read the note? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, he can't. Um, oh, no. So I just walk by. <laughs> yeah, he'll walk by. <laughs> Clyde will relay it to you later. He, he'll, he'll notice it, and we'll relay the, the note to oh, you. Hold on. Let me go pick up my food. Okay. okay. And then, uh, Cymex, did you I have anything? Like um, yeah, I'm going to turn to Anne and be like, uh, I'm too tired. Let's roll there. And just start like rolling physically out of the tent. <laughs> rolling out of the tent. Yeah. And it's like, oh, I'm not tired, but that sounds fun. So she'll, she'll follow you rolling Sick. on the ground. Uh, you'll also notice on your door, there's another note. Uh, and it says latrines for camp 19 and 20 for a week. And then it's signed by Derek. At the bottom. Six is only one week. I thought it was two. This is oh. Sassmaster. No, it's one week. It's fine. Oh, precious. Yeah, he's serving up looks. 
Got that over the shoulder pose down. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, wait, so can I start like a um? Can I can I ask something? Mm-hmm. I want to start like a um. What was it, Rotom Gram? Yeah. I want to start a Rotom Gram for Sass Master. Okay. I want to compete do that. with Willow. I feel like I can become Insta famous or like Rotom famous mm-hmm. through Sass Master and take down Willow. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, you can start one. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me. I'll start thinking about what to do for that. So. Yeah. Figure out yeah. since it's it's all your own character. You know, you can figure out how often you want to post, and mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. we'll probably just do roles to figure out followers and stuff like that. Okay, um, awesome. But yeah, that sounds great. You can make. Yay. You can make this version of an Instagram for your for your Vulpix. Yay. Yay. Okay. So y'all go to the bathroom then is what it sounds like yeah uh do the morning things we don't need to role play if you don't want to (laughs) we can just skip over that um and then i'm assuming you guys are just going to go back to the camp like you've all been told to yeah yeah let's do what we're told for once cool 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 so you're going to go to the the meeting area let's see here so, Semex, uh, you're going to notice Xavier is going to be walking over towards you. But as he walks, Dylan is going to be on the other side of camp and yell at him. He's like, hey, come over here. Hey, Xavier, come over here. Look, look at this. And Xavier is going to look between you and Dylan. And he's going to get yelled at a couple more times. Come over here, man. What, what, what are you doing? What, what's going on? Come over. And he's going to you know, drop his shoulders and walk over to Dylan. I'm going to breathe. Is there still stacks there? Because I'll raise a juice box to them and be like, sorry, man. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. He can look back and see it. Uh, he smirks, but is then met by Dylan yelling about more random stuff and how good he is. Yeah. Um, okay, so now everyone's standing by the, the fire pit. Most of the kids are yawning. It is 5 a.m., pretty much falling back asleep to like while they're standing there. And as we are walk over... He's like, you guys, you guys don't look very excited for your first catching expedition. Uh. Oh, man, you guys really don't seem very excited. Uh, <laughs> well, you're going to go either way. Uh, you know, usually it's a more fun time before just standing around. But today you will be catching some Pokemon. So let's head over to the dining hall because we're going to eat a big breakfast because we won't be here for lunch and we're going to p- grab an on the go lunch. Mm, so we'll be the most important meal of the day. Interesting. <laughs> that's, ex- <laughs> that's exactly right, Lee. Uh, <laughs> breakfast for kids <laughs> who are, you know, doing a lot of physical activity is very important. So we're going to have a big one. Not adults who sit at their desk all day. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's not as important for those people. So you guys will walk uh, to the camping area, uh, the dining area. Uh, I don't know if you guys have anything you want to go over in that time. Any role playing? If not, that's fine. And we can just skip to it. Uh, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, let's do it. I want to catch it. Pokemon. Yeah, I want to catch Pokemon. Hey, Anne, who do you think can roll there faster? You or me? And I just start rolling. I bet Fampy can. And she's going to let Fampy out. And he's also Fampy's gonna go flying down because Fampy, you know, is like made to roll. It's like the whole purpose of that Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> and Anne's gonna chase wow. after it because it immediately gets out of her like reach. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then let's say Brick is gonna be doing like fighting moves as you guys walk as his like mm-hmm. morning warm up. That's like. But- 30 year old 12 year old guy right with like 25. <laughs> yeah he's like the the goliath boy or whatever that guy was we went over this last time yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah the world's strongest boy he's a little he's, yeah, he's a little 12 year old but he's ripped and like real <laughs> real ripped um oh it is like hercules right hercules boy or That's, something that was his nickname, hercules. yeah um he's always wanting to get in fights mostly getting punched he doesn't actually want to punch people that much but mostly wants to get punched huh. um Wants to see how strong he can take fighting wise. So he'll be doing that. Uh, you know, Clyde will be doing his normal meditations and 
Charlotte will actually be awake for the first time and walking with you guys. It's the first time she hasn't been. I guess since it's 5 a.m., she it's early enough where she's actually still awake. Or it's late enough for her because she sleeps. She stays awake all night. Mm. But we all get to the, the dining hall. It's mostly full. Um, not all the camps are there, so it seems like uh, only some of the camps get up this early and some of them must go like a different day to the wherever this catching expedition place is. But a lot of the kids are there and you get a very large breakfast uh, that you can eat. So if you guys have anything at the dining hall you want to say, that's great. Otherwise, we can jump to where you will actually be leaving for the catching expedition. Um, I try to feed Metapod, but it just slides down Metapod. <laughs> very hard body. <laughs> Oh, wait, yep, that's I accurate. Need, do I need to feed Sass Master, or is there like special Pokemon food for them to eat? Um, there'll be food on the side. You can't release your Pokemon in the dining hall. Right. We established okay. that last time. You get like yelled at. Yeah. Um, so if you want to feed your Pokemon, there's like an area outside. I should probably jump to the, on like the the left side, the right side of the mess hall that you can feed them at. Oh, I didn't put you guys over here. Yeah. So yeah, 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 you yeah. don't have to feed them, but you can feed them, especially like when you're out on an expedition. Okay. Um. So can I feed? I need to feed Sassmaster some egg whites for his coat to make it nice and shiny. And you okay. know, brush him, brush him down too. You know, give a little brush, brush. So I'm gonna go out there. You guys can meet me when you're done eating. Doesn't Sassmaster like dislike you? Yes. Well, I'm trying to bond with Sassmaster by giving it food because mm. I think it'll like me better if I give him some food. So I'm like, come on, Sassmaster, let's go get some food. And he's like, mm. okay. Okay. We're, we're working on it. We're working on it. He'll accept you a little bit if you feed him. That makes sense. Yeah. Yes. But I still think it's a girl. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the moment where I like figure it out, you know. I gotta wait for the perfect opportunity. Yeah, I think it'll I think it'll come up. Maybe like when I post a picture of him on Rotomgram, so it'll be like, that's a boy. <laughs> yeah. Mm. There's Maybe. also breeding grounds <gasps> on this place that you guys will event fun. depending on what day you guys will see those, so you might find out there. No, thank you. Um, it's like the so when I said breeding ground, I kind of mean like those Pokemon daycares, but they're yeah. they're pretty much the same thing. Daycare is just like a nicer term for fucking, I guess, in this <laughs> in this world. Oh, um, Taking out of context, that's really terrible stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so you'll you'll be brushing Sassmaster, and he'll like that. I yes. think, yeah. Yes. He doesn't necessarily yeah, like like the person doing it, but he will accept mm -hmm. being pampered. I think okay. being fed and pampered. Excellent. Um, the rest of you eat uh, breakfast, and Metapod does not eat any of the food. It will it just rocks back and forth right in front of Slimex. Um, <laughs> and then you guys will Ezra's like, hey guys, let's go to the speedboat. Throw all your food away. The rest of it, I mean, don't throw food away, but whatever you're done with, just throw it in the trash. We got to go to the speedboat. This is like after a reasonable amount of time. So you guys are pretty much done eating at this I'm point. Stuff some eggs in my pocket. Like just... Like scrambled eggs in your pocket? Yeah. Ew. Okay. It's like in Napoleon Dynamite when he has the tots in his pocket. Um, Anne's going to see that and be like, oh, that looks fun. And she's going to slide grits into her oh. pocket. Um... Yeah. Yes, yeah, so those those be like falling out, you know, and completely covering her her overalls that she wears. She's gonna turn to her and say like, "Snack." Yeah, <laughs> and she'll she'll take some out of her pocket, like want some later. Okay, she's like more. It's like okay, I'll save some, and she'll lick the stuff off her hand and wipe it on her overalls. He's so, so you guys have some food for later. As you leave, they'll give you little bagged lunches to put in your your bags so it's just like a sandwich and some like uh some juice packs and a granola bar stuff like that so that that'll be your, your sandwich because <laughs> the eggs. no you did not need the eggs uh they they give you a little lunch 
I was just gonna be like, hey, this is this is your lunch for when we're out. You guys will it'll make sense when we go out there. There's no there's no really food places out there. Mm. So McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> um so you'll follow them down to the speedboats that they were originally taking you to. Uh it's big enough for everyone, obviously, and the at the helm you see there's a large rotund man and you know swear words are just dropping out of his mouth he's like fuck i have to i have to you know untie this all the kids are already here what the shit oh and i didn't even clean anything in here it looks like ass so yeah swear words are just falling out of his mouth uh and he'll he'll walk up over here he's like hey kids just take the seats um at the front of the boat and we'll be off in a minute my name's jenkins i'll be your captain um Old man Jenkins. Yes. Old man Jenkins. Does anyone want to be my first mate? He's gonna have a little hat. He's gonna have a little, little hat that the first mate. Oh, and he's gonna throw it to you. Here you go. Yeah. Oh. He's like, it doesn't really do anything, but you can say you're the first mate. There's no power associated with it. Really? Um, we go over and be like, yeah. Anne's definitely going to be pouty because she wanted I'm, it too. I'm a little jealous too, actually. I'll be honest. <laughs> um, Barrett's going to stare at you real angrily. You can't really tell if he's just mad at you because you punched him and took the Pokemon he wanted or if he wanted that hat as well. <laughs> but... I feel like in this age group, everyone would want that hat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dylan's going to be like, well, I own my own ship. I don't even need to be a first mate. So he, he 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 doesn't want it, you know. He's better than that. The important thing. What does Xavier think? He's like, that's pretty cool. It suits you. I I, I think I think you can rock a hat, Cymax. Ooh. <laughs> I, think like, the best. I think Lee's gonna notice a little bit. Lee's gonna notice what? That Cymax always wants to know, like what um Xavier <sighs> thinks. Here, actually, roll a perception. Okay. Because um, if you're trying to notice that, that's like a thing you won't even like. You don't even like realize, you know. You add to it. Plus my um, what is it you add to it again? I think it's just your perception. Perception. So yeah. Where's my? Uh, sorry, I had it like up on my. Okay, sorry, my computer wasn't like loading. Perception is. Oh my gosh. Mine is plus here. It's plus one, so it's only a six. We'll say you 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 notice something, you know. Yeah. You're just like, I, huh? She really asked for Xavier's opinion a lot. Yeah. Okay. I'll be like, hmm. They seem to have a little some going on. Yeah. Right. Okay. Can I do a perception check? Can I perceive this stuff? Yeah, you can perceive something. All right, I'm gonna try it too. Are you trying to perceive romantic tensions? I'm just wondering. Yeah. Are you into that? Okay. So Reggie's <laughs> into that. Okay. Nice. What do I have to um, roll? A d20? Yeah, yeah. Roll a d20 and then add your perception. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, wait. So you won't notice it, but you will notice uh, <laughs> Lee's... I, I mean, I don't want to overstep my bounds, Lee, but I think you're going to be drooling over <laughs> Ezra. Because Ezra's definitely gonna have like real tight clothing on. Um, oh, yeah. He's like in like a running outfit. Oh. Wow. Um, okay. So can I, can if I you're okay with that, this? he can notice that. Okay. If you think can that's I in character. That as well? Can you perceive that? that? Can I? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you perceive that. You didn't even want to, but it's so obvious. <laughs> it's so obvious okay. that like you can't even not. It's hard to even see the Xavier thing. With how much oh, subtext no. is not happening <laughs> with Lee over Ezra. <laughs> okay. Wow. So, <laughs> so those are the romantic attentions you may or may not have noticed. So you guys will you'll get on the boat. Um, and is there anything you guys want to do before you depart at all? Anything you want to say? It doesn't have Put to be. Put on life vest. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. I was just gonna be like, oh, I forgot about those. Yeah, you guys should definitely have life vests on. And he'll start handing them out to you guys. Yeah. Because if you remember, I grew up on Pistol Town. So, like, by boat is literally the only way we can get around. So, mm. if anything were to happen on this boat, 
I could feasibly take control of it. Just saying. Just oh, you know how to drive direct. boats is what yeah. you're saying. Okay. Yeah. You should write that on your character sheet so you remember. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. You you are proficient in water vehicles because that's like actually a proficiency you can have. Yeah. So, so like jet skis, sailboats, and boats with motors on them. Okay. Any any water vehicle. Okay. We'll remember that. That's good to know. Um so Jenkins will be like, Well, you won't have to take control, little lady. I, I'm pretty good at driving. And immediately he's gonna hit something, he's gonna like hit the dock. He's so like shit. And he'll he'll have to like back up and re oh. re get out of the area. Ooh, that did not look or sound or feel good. <laughs> he's like, Well, I'm pretty good once we're away from the docks. The docks are the hard part. You know, the open sea, it's hard to hit anything. Is that uh, true? Lee? We'll see about that. And as you guys are still pointing out, a tentacles, uh, uh, a dugong is going to jump and he's going to hit that too. Oh, um, no. That's not really his fault. <laughs> that dugong did jump in front of the boat. But... Oh my gosh, did it die? <laughs> no, no, no. You guys are still going slow. It just kind of like. Imagine just like getting like. <laughs> it, uh, it bounced off. Um, their guys are going pretty slow still. He's, he's still like in the wake zone, you know, like the no wake zone. Mm -hmm. So he can't be like busting it out yet. I see, I see. He's oh. like, that's good i guess he's like that's not my fault everyone this is not buried on my uh driving uh -huh. so, <laughs> so you guys will get into the out of the no wake zone and as you're going ezra and autumn are going to walk up to the front and be like okay everyone you're probably wondering how you're going to catch these pokemon and they're going to pull out little cases behind them and they'll open them up and inside of them each is 10 pokeballs but one's a nest ball, which is a Pokeball that has a plus five for level, lower than level five Pokemon. So everything you're going to encounter. Because um, awesome. you only can catch things at your level or lower. So everything's going to be like level one that you can catch, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, so like each one of you will get one of these little packages. It has nine Pokeballs and one nest ball in it. So use them wisely. Uh, and they'll start handing them out. He's like... Uh, Oh my god, I can flip my hat backwards before I throw a Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just like, do we know about Ash Ketchum in this universe? Is he real? Is he a legend in this? Mm, he is this up and coming. Mm. Yeah, this mm, will I be see. set during the Indigo League. No, 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 no. During, um, what's X and Y's? I think it's just X and Y. It's when he gets oh, second. Funny. So he won't be like the most famous trainer, but he'll, it'll be like he got second. So okay. if you guys like, if you follow sport the Pokemon Sporting, you'll know he's really good. Okay. Oh, hold on, guys. Can I? Can you think a, a small? Okay. So you guys just got your Pokeballs, right? Uh -huh. You got nine. You can add these to your inventory. Nine Pokeballs and one Nest Ball. Um, we can go over how capturing works later, but like mm. type of ball in, impacts like how much you add to your capture. So Pokeballs add zero. They're just like, they don't add anything, but a Nest Ball will add plus five and an Ultra Ball is going to add plus 10. But we'll so, definitely need to ask you about that later, but where do we put this? Is this held items? In where? So in your PC, in your file? Yeah. In Pokeballs? Oh, I guess you just put it in Pokeballs. Yeah. I mean, I guess. Nine Pokeballs and one Nest Ball. And yeah. One yeah. Ultra Ball, right? Oh, you guys have one Ultra Ball. I just have the Metapod though. Okay. Okay. How do you? Oh, it's control. Oh, yeah, I hate that having to like put new lines in a box. Oh yeah, how do you do that? You press control and hit enter. Okay. So then... How do you do that so many times? As well? Okay. Mm. So you guys get handed little cases with nine Pokeballs and one Nest Ball in it. Um, then, after they hand those out, they're going to start handing out a new thing, and it's called a Poketouch, which is a Ooh. Pokemon smartwatch if you play the Gen 4 games. I thought it was so, Poketech. I don't know. I don't know how you say it. It's Poke T C H. It's Poketech. It's just, it's just Poketech. Because it's like technology. No, no it's like a watch. It's like the TC no, no. watch. It isn't it's edge, but it's edge. pronounced poke. Okay. Like just poke edge. Poke edge. Pokemon watch? <laughs> no. 
you have to say it whatever way we were just saying it. No saying Pokemon watch. Poke poke at it's a poke at so it's a smart watch. And as I was gonna it allows you to we probably should have handed these out yesterday, but it allows you to communicate with texts and calls. And if you call for help, um, it, it tracks your location, so it'll send it to our rescue teams. Um, and you're gonna need this because you know our our areas are completely safe, obviously, no, not dangerous. But if you get lost or fall down a hill or walk off a cliff, we want to, you want to be able to call for help. Not that not that any of that will happen. Y'all will be completely safe. But it's just you know it's nice to uh, ha have the option in case something went wrong. Or I remember something. hearing about like the sure. kids who were like kidnapped and held against their will and had their Pokemon stolen. <laughs> Yeah, or if that happens, if Team Wild uh, comes. So just, you can activate it, and then your location will automatically be sent, and then they'll come and help you. Uh, we'll try to come and help if we're close, but there's also, like, little teams around that will come and help you. Um, little, like, Ranger, Pokemon Rangers. Did Lee's thing go blank for anybody else? No. Nice. Lee is still there for me. Lee can, well... I'm gonna refresh. Okay, Catherine's mm. gonna refresh, just kidding. Okay. Mm. Okay, let's. There we go. So, so each of you will be handed one of the poke it, poke catches. Uh, at when they said that rangers will be. Oh my goodness! I can hear myself. Is someone uh, echoing a little bit? Mm -mm. Okay, well, that means it's you, Lee. Because if you don't hear echo, then it's that person. Oh but no! It's fine. What do I have to do? <laughs> Um, we'll just continue and we'll see if it distracts me again. That, that's, <laughs> um, but so th upon hearing that Rangers will come and rescue you, Xavier will perk up a little bit and then that's it. And then they'll hand out the rest of the watches. And then lastly, the two will mention that you guys are free to roam the whole area there. It'll be a big map. And if you look on your poke, poke catches, there's like a little map. That you can see and you'll see the map soon enough actually i can just bring it up for you guys um and this is where you'll be exploring it's this map do you guys see it no no yes i see it I yeah see like it. you see it right yeah so this is what this is what the map that comes up on your little scanner your little poke etch looks like and they're gonna that say that what it comes up on the watch. Is it like a hologram screen or is it just like on the. It'll be a hologram screen because that's definitely cooler. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It'll be a hologram screen. Um, yeah. It'll like a little. You can get you can get larger maps of the whole whole Mikai Islands because um, you guys are just on one of them. Actually, this is on like a whole separate island. That's why you're driving to it or boating to it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But it's a it's a small island nearby the island two that you guys just uh, came off of, or whatever mm -hmm. the name the island knee knee island I think that's what I named it. So they'll say you are free to roam all around this area, but there are a few areas that are marked off by for our scientists, and they'll ha say do not enter. Right? There'll be big signs that say do not enter. So just don't enter those. That seems pretty simple, right? Everyone everyone agree and everyone understand. Okay, great. Yes, but uh huh. What what Lee? Nothing. You have a question? Okay. Nope. Wait, what will it say on the signs? It'll say "Do not enter," and they'll be. What color will the signs be? The signs will be white, and the text will be black. But underneath that, there'll be a person, right? And there'll be a big X through them in red. There'll be a big red X. So even if someone weren't able to read, which I don't know if that's anyone here, <laughs> you'd be able to tell because it says no person, no people. So th those are marked off by our teams, uh, the, the scientists and the rangers. So just don't go on them. They, they could be dangerous. So but feel free to go anywhere else. Also, you should stay with your assigned teams of three. Uh, this is supposed to be one of our team building exercise exercises and our extra and the full day is supposed to be about team building. So you guys will get out there and work together and try your best. Anyone have any questions? When is lunch? If you remember, I said we wouldn't be get you, you would get those little lunch bags, right? Oh. That you got. 
And so lunch is whenever you want. Um, they'll also be, if you look on the map, there's a Pokey Center. And that's where you get your, your Pokemon healed. Uh, if you ever want to like come back and heal and then go back out in a different area. And inside that, there is a vending machine that will sell some food. But I would recommend eating your food as lunch that we gave you. But there will not be a formal lunch. So just, you know, eat at the right time. Eat at lunchtime. All right, let's do this thing. And then you also need to come back here in the evening. So at like four, four-ish. So you pretty much have the whole day um, to go around and explore. Nice. Okay. So the the ship is going to arrive. If you see that, if you see that ship on the map, it's a little south of the Poke Center. That's where you guys will be getting off. And they'll walk you up to the Poke Center. Inside there will be. Wait, why? Why'd you say that? Because what? It, what is what was Manin saying? It's a fun surprise family business. The war. I heard. Wait, what? This is. I don't understand what any of this is. Like is that your conversation when you were pooping? There was a whole yeah. conversation. It okay. was a long time ago. I was just wondering. Sorry, um, continue. Okay. Uh. So yeah, they'll they'll just reiterate the Poke Center's right there. Um, you'll, you're free to go wherever you want. Your Pokemon shall be healed from yesterday, so you won't shouldn't need to go right now. But feel free to explore in any direction um, you desire. And oh, I just zoomed out a bunch. And catch some Pokemon, guys. All right, where do we go? Woo! Uh, so yeah, the kids will, you know, group up into their teams, and they'll start talking about where they want to go and in what direction. Um, Oh, and then before you guys land, actually, Cymex, uh, Xavier is going to turn to you because he was wanting to talk to you in the morning. And now he actually can because Dylan's preoccupied with whatever he wants to do, whatever he's doing. Mm -hmm. And Xavier's going to be like, Barrett talks in his sleep. He's so loud. I could, I could barely sleep at all. Oh, my gosh. That sounds awful. I'm so yeah. sorry. Well, I assume he talks in his sleep or... He just likes to threaten people all night, but I'm hoping he does talk and sleep. That's what I'm hoping. Threatening? Is he threatening you? Uh, you know, he said some threatening words, but I, I, there were probably just random dream things. You know, he wouldn't, he wouldn't, he doesn't seem like the type of guy that, well, he does seem like the type of guy that would hurt someone, but I don't think he'd tell him first. I think he'd just ambush him and like stab him in the back. Mm-hmm. Well, I punched him once. I can punch him again. And you can always come stay under our desk. <laughs> I might have to do that. I'll definitely call you if he wants to fight me. I think you could take him better than me. Okay. okay. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> he's going to hold up for a high five after that teamwork. <laughs> Boom. Great. Okay, so now Wait, you guys have all landed. Can I intercept that high five? Can I just like put my hand in? Yeah. I mean, you can, can roll for it? Yeah, you can roll can for, roll it. for it? What would that be? It... Sleight like, of hand. There's a sleight of hand. Sleight there. of hand. Ooh. Sleight of hand. Oh, that's funny. Okay. I have a plus plus one to so eleven. Uh, so you're not gonna intercept it, but your hand's gonna hit theirs after they connect. Your hand high is just gonna team. join. <laughs> <laughs> what are we high fiving for? Um, in case Barrett tries to murder Xavier, like now you have to help stop it. So. Welcome to the team. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, thanks, man. It's really nice of you to join us like that. I, I, I appreciate the help. Yeah, no worries. I, think you're using. I just wanted a high five, but okay. <laughs> Sorry, now uh, you're going to be Now, which, where do you guys think we should go? What place on the map do you think looks good? Um, Is there a volcano? I'm going to go to the volcano. Yeah, that's what I got. <laughs> Thanks. Let me look where the volcano is. I guess... In the bottom. Is there a volcano? I don't even... Yeah. See. Oh, yeah, there's a volcano. It's south. Yeah. South? South? Yeah. South. yeah. Oh, I see. It's at the southern tip. Uh, is uh, there another one? I don't... I mean, I guess there's no, one no, way, way north, maybe. I think yeah. those are just orange it trees. It looks icy. Yeah. It looks like an icy volcano, but, like, with a swamp behind it? Yeah. An ice swamp. Okay, so there are two volcanoes you all can go to if you're looking for volcanoes. The ice <laughs> volcano or the normal volcano. 
Also, Let's like this them. cave looks really cool. Just so you what know, is? this cave that I just circled. Oh, the one you circled. Okay. Yeah. Those are those are my two guesses. Um, I definitely want to do the volcano. Who says? Yeah. Minnie says the southern one is closer. So, I say we start the volcano, work our way up. You know, catch some fire types. Hell yeah! Train up in the cave. And we do have to go towards the forest. It looks like so mm. there will be some bug Pokemon. Ooh. Okay. Well, you do that because that's disgusting. Are and you guys catch are you... fire type? Okay. Awesome. Let's go. <laughs> Are you guys only interested in catching uh, types that only one type some, of Pokemon? Like, handed shots of Sassmaster also on the way for the Instagram. Okay. Are you guys Are you guys interested in only catching like one type of Pokemon, or just? Like... I can't hear me need or Catherine. I think I need a refresh. Oh yeah, yeah. You should definitely refresh. She couldn't hear you. That's why Lee was just like ignoring any comment you made. I know. I was like, walked over. I was like, what's happening? <laughs> I was also surprised. I was like, man, Lee really wanted to talk about Sassmaster. Just Honestly. walking over Manine. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't, Just I didn't talking really straight over. Because <laughs> I, like, I couldn't even hear you at all. I'm so sorry. It's fine. Um, anyway, I was going to say, um, are you guys only interested in catching like one type of Pokemon? Or like, I'm gonna what do you guys want to have? A variety or just one type? I'll catch a variety, but like mostly fire types for me, I think. Mm. Cymex, I guess it seems like you only want bug Pokemon. Yeah, bug Pokemon are, are pretty great and they remind me of home, so it that feels the best, but I'm not like gonna hate on any other Pokemon. Pokemon are great. Okay. What about you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I just think you're just catching like really cool Pokemon. Just whatever looks cool. That sounds good. Here, I should yeah, explain I something real quick, just so you guys understand how this is going to work. Um, it'll make it kind of wraps into what you were just saying. Um, so how you, how you guys are going to encounter Pokemon is do you see how there's little squares along the map? Yes. Okay, so you guys are going to start in front of the Pokemon Center, that square, and then every square you move, you're going to roll a d20, and if it's above a certain number, there will be an encounter in that type of area and then i'll like <laughs> i'll figure out what that encounter is going to be um so that's why like even if you're going to the volcano right like you're gonna have you might get into an encounter before so you might see other pokemon it's not like you'll just go to the volcano and just fight fire types there like you'll you have to like walk there and you might okay. encounter things each step just so you know that there there's more than just <laughs> <laughs> the place you want to go to it's a whole journey thing okay yeah, yeah that's fine I'm sorry. It's Michael Sierra. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so attacked by this. I was just not expecting to come into this today. <laughs> oh, I sorry to interrupt. You guys can continue discussing the where you were gonna go. I didn't mean. I just wanted to make sure you guys understood oh. that how how things were gonna work. No, no, that's. What I mean, I guess we should. I guess we should head to the volcano. What do you guys think? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Let's, show let's do roll. it. Okay. So you guys should probably only have one picture, honestly, because one picture okay. takes up a whole square. Let's keep Michael Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Michael Sarah will move one to the right and then roll yeah. me a D20. One of you should just roll a D20 each I'll time. Roll it because yeah. I'm Michael Sarah, so I should the first roll. <laughs> okay. Okay. One D20. 13. Okay, so you guys don't see any Pokemon, or none of them, like, come at you. There might be Pokemon running about a little bit, like, in the river, but uh, they're all pretty far away, and you don't you don't need to make the dice on the board, and <laughs> um, you don't get into any combats with any... Um, so you can move the next one. Okay. Who wants to roll next? Oh. Three. Okay. Okay, you do not encounter anything again. Damn. Okay. <laughs> uh, so we move right again or down? We move let's down. Go down. Yeah, yeah, let's go down. Ooh. Ah. Down. Mm. Ooh, 16. That's pretty good. Okay, yeah, you guys will run into an encounter. Oh my goodness, I do not like the dice on here. <laughs> um, 
so let me it's i'm gonna take a second because i haven't like designed any encounters so i have, I have to like make them real quick oh my gosh oh but my gosh this should be it should only take like a minute so this is like a field type area okay so here's what the battle is that you guys happen on to the snorlax is a plusle and the three nittle rans are all minnens sorry they're all hot pips okay. so you guys are going to walk in on the left side and you can just run away if you want if you guys don't want to catch any of these or fight any of them are you um, okay are you okay okay you're just like leaning up Oh, he's stretching. <laughs> like he was gonna barf. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I'm not like particularly partial. Like I don't know if I need to be saving like HP and stuff for when I want to catch a Pokemon. We have potions, right? We got like a, an orange berry and a potion. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. We do. But yeah, I mean, I guess if you guys don't want to battle these guys, I could, but mm. I don't really want, like, a Plessel <laughs> or a hop <Hop-Up. laughs> Yeah, sorry. We could just keep moving. Um, okay. Whatever y'all want. I guess we should try to run. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, to run, I don't know if I want to... Um, you have to make a... Dex scores, so whoever has the most dex, whoever has like the biggest plus modifier in dex. Oh. I have minus two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um dexterity, I have plus one. And my dexterity oh. is plus two. Hey. Hey. So I guess we'll use mine. And then what do I do? do um uh, so yeah, you're gonna roll for dex, and then I'm gonna roll as one of the Pokemon. So I guess seven if, plus two is nine. All right. And if they get lower, then you can escape. Let me look at what their decks are real quick. Okay. Is it slash roll d twenty right? Okay, yes. so you guys get away with ease. Um, they don't even notice you. The plusle beats the crap out of the hop up and Aww. runs off as as well as you guys run off. So yeah. let me delete these little guys. Okay, you don't need to draw on them. Yes, we do. Um it's required. Come on. So I we hopped, I guess I'm rolling again now, right? We hopped back here and yeah, you are now where Michael Sarah is. Which way are we going? Down or to the left? I mean right? I guess we have to go to the to the right, yeah. yeah. You can yeah. follow the coast, but yeah, you can't walk into the water. Okay. Oh, got Let's go on the right. Nope. Nothing. Nothing pops up. Uh, on the right, right or down? Down. Down. Yeah. Down. I'll roll. Right. Mm -hmm. Turn. Nothing pops up. Damn. You can move again. All uh, right. Yeah. Ooh. Nope, you can move yep. again. <sighs> Down. Okay. We're so close to the volcano. True. Yeah. Lee? Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot. Um, 12. Ooh. Nope. Nothing. Oh, okay. Keep going. To the left. Uh, to the left. The left. Yeah. Okay. Oh, back to me. Oh, Keep God. going. I'm um, down. Down. Yeah, down. Okay, so you guys are now in the volcano area. Not that it matters. Okay. Because you have get one. 13. No, no, that I 13. you don't get one. Sorry, oh, I thought oh, I said okay. that. I thought I said that. Uh, to the left. I left into the volcano. <laughs> Come on, baby. It's getting really hot in here. Please. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I forgot. I'm sorry. Oh. oh no. <laughs> The okay. range isn't that small, guys. You guys are just rolling really middle numbers. I just moved to the left again. Yeah, you can move all around. Like you don't have to, like if you just want to move in the volcano again and again, that's fine. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, wow. real quick. Are you guys? Oh, oh. Catherine, roll the nineteen. You guys definitely fight something. Yeah. Wait, 
But I thought it was, it was me after the week. It wasn't my turn. I was getting it ready to roll and I accidentally clicked it. Oh I'm my sorry. goodness. You guys, I'm gonna you guys are gonna get it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna I trip and accidentally fall into a Pokemon area. <laughs> <laughs> um you probably don't want to fall into most of these oh yeah so you fall and you're gonna reach out and you're gonna grab a drift bloom's hand they just ooh, popped out ooh, of nowhere if you ooh. know what that looks like yeah ah, not at all and then uh, hold on drift bloom yeah oh <gasps> okay and you're gonna pull it as you fall and a sh a fire shot is gonna streak above it oh shoot. um so I suddenly just tried to attack it, and that thing is a houndoor. So I got you're gonna, it. a houndoor. <laughs> so there's a houndoor that's firing, and there's also a slugma just crawling around on the rocks. It's not really involved with this battle. Um, <laughs> so I'll need to make this real quick. He is seventy-seven pounds. Yeah, it's who a, is? What is? Slugma. Slugma is a heavy boy. I mean, it's magma. It's like it's literal four, magma. Four. It's so dense. And then oh it's, it's it's evolution is even heavier. Oh my! Did I not? Not cargo. Macargo. 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 Yeah. Macargo. <laughs> Macargo. <laughs> oh, its face is so cute. It is really it's ugly. Like... What? Where's the ugliest Gen 2 Pokemon? That's Gen 3. Okay, maybe they... it's Gen 3? Wait, maybe it's Gen okay. 2. No, it's not. <laughs> You're right, it's Gen 2. I weigh the same as me. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> Ooh, wait, wait are... how can you have a weakness that's just Onyx as a Pokemon? What? Wait, what? I... It says weakness from a cargo. It says onyx fighting ground and water, like specifically onyx. Like no, that's <laughs> that's wrong. I don't know what that is, but that is wrong. They're not like mortal enemies or anything. That's weird. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, for this example, well, can you guys already see the map? Did I already switch you guys yes. to this? Yeah. Um. So there, the Snorlax is going to be a Houndour. Sorry, I did not load it. I mean, I didn't load all fucking seven hundred Pokemon into this. <laughs> A <laughs> uh, Niddle Ran is going to be the Drift Bloom. So it's going to be over here. You guys are going to be right by the, the Niddle Ran because let's say Cymax was in the front and fell. So the rest of you are just right behind Cymax. Okay. Um, and then. Okay, here. Well, and then this Whooper is going to be the, the Slug Mode, just kind of just like chilling over here. Uh, just chilling, and I have not made the the stats yet. So let me make that real quick. Okay. The need ran again. It's a it's drift the drift bloom. It's the thing you're holding on to, so you're right next to it, like you are touching it. <laughs> you're right it's on touching top of you. you. Thank you for saving me. <laughs> it didn't save you. Though. It's gonna it's gonna kidnap you. Yeah, it kidnaps children. It does kidnap children. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> yeah, it does. It. I'm yeah. from the forest. <laughs> it's Cyan. It's like, ooh, stole. Is any saving me? <laughs> go, 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 Vinny. Rip, Ranger. I almost knocked oh. my M&M's off the desk, sorry. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, Catherine. Weird. What Why do you eat M&M's like that? Oh. <laughs> Wait, how do you eat how You were the only person who saw that. How <laughs> are you eating the M&M's? <laughs> I don't know. No, what no, no. <laughs> That's not what I saw. <laughs> Wait, how, how do you eat them? What's a weird thing that <laughs> you eat? Do it. Do it, Catherine. Seemed like that was a that was a normal eating thing from what I've seen. This is law this is wrong. <laughs> they would take like a big handful and just like eat from the bottom like a chipmunk. <laughs> <laughs> like when you feed a horse, they just like... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, let me roll. Okay, so yeah, we are ready for the encounter. So roll initiative. Mm. Oh, that roll. is what? Who's rolling for initiative? Everybody. All of you. All right. <laughs> this one tells what order. Holy shit. Well, no, I rolled three because I rolled for all of them together. Make sure to add your initiative. If you double click the thing, you can add it automatically so you don't have oh. to like. Oh. My initiative is minus two. Oh, shit. Okay. So <laughs> let's go Cymax. Oh, it's all of you guys and then all of them. So it's going to go Cymax. Um, we. No, wait. I didn't do my plus two. Sorry. Well, you're already number two. Okay. Yeah, you aren't going up, but you aren't going down either. And then Mani and, and Reggie. I got 12. Yeah, so you'll go, and then it'll be the Slugma, then the Houndor, and then the Drift Bloom. Drift Bloom, or Loon, or whatever. Okay, yes, fight. I've never gone first. Wow. Mm. Um, go. Am I like still just holding on to it? Is it like drifting me away? <laughs> well, oh, away. <laughs> they lead kids away. So it's like a lost kid will grab it and it'll like guide them somewhere. It doesn't, mm -mm, they're not no, strong enough. They don't pick them up, do they? Yeah, it does. It picks them up and it takes them to eat. What? Eat I don't think it picks them up. They, okay. I mean, you, I swear to you, they pick them up like balloons. They're balloons. Drift blooms do not pick up not children, man. Away. They do. Drift bloom. Do. Okay, well, this one is not picking you up yet. It hasn't started that. It's just uh, right now. It's just caught you, I guess, but it has and not I picked you up. Shit that it steals kids. So I'm just gonna throw Vinny at um, the hound <laughs> who tried to catch the drift bloom. Fire. Wait, so. you said you're gonna throw Vinny at the hound door, and then what was the second part? Because in my mind. I need to defend the drift bloom because it saved mm -hmm. me when yeah. it was falling. I grabbed onto it and it saved me, kept me upright. Okay, here, let me just read this out. Please. Stories, stories go that it grabs the hands of small children and drags them away to the afterlife. It dislikes heavy children. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it doesn't pick them off the ground, it drags them. It, That's okay. a lot weaker. I, all right. All right. That, <laughs> you are more right than I was. But it's not going to, like, pick you and fly you away. It's just going to, like, drag you along the ground until, I guess, you die. So. All right, fine. But it hasn't started doing that yet. You just grabbed its hand. <laughs> it just seems like a chill balloon right now. Okay. Sure. A balloon that uh, was just attacked. But, yes, Simex, you can go. We don't need to argue against what, <laughs> what it's doing. All right. Um, so I'm going to throw Vinny. And Vinny, my dear is going to ooh, that's some good shit. Um let's say uh supersonic. Okay. So I do the D20 to see if it hits close, right? Is that how supersonic works? I mean if you're gonna eat can you uh mute? Yeah it's like Oops. Um, you emit a high-pitched screech only heard by the target. Choose a target in range. The target must pass a wisdom saving throw against your move DC or become confused. Oh, okay. So what's your move DC? That means I have to make a roll. Mm, move power is dexterity wisdom, which is... How do I figure that out? Fuck, what was it again? <laughs> I think it's eight plus your proficiency plus your modifier. So it's eight, eight plus two plus um, your, what is it, wisdom? Your wisdom uh, uh, bonus. I have I think. zero for wisdom and dex. So maybe that isn't a good one. Wait, yeah, no. Your, I your DC will be 10, I think, if you do, do that. OK. So they have to roll above a 10? Yeah, and you're doing it to Houndour? Yeah, but I have a plus two proficiency. Yeah, it's eight plus proficiency, which is two. I see. Plus something else. Um, which is zero for me, so, okay. Yes, yeah, so I will roll a wisdom. Uh, 
I don't add anything to it. So okay, it beats Ooh. it. So the supersonic, it just shakes it off and doesn't isn't affected by the supersonic at all. Good uh, try, Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> and then we hop over to Lee. Oh, OK. Um, OK, I, I know Manin wants the Hound Dower, but I also really want the Hound Dower, Hound Door, whatever. So yeah, so um, fuck him. Get it. Yeah, right. I'm going to go for it. OK, so let me get um, Sass Master. I guess I'll release Sass Master and um, I'm going to use, wait, sorry, my Sass Master. Um, let's see, let me see, because Baby Doll Eyes is my new move, so I'm going to use some Charlie Carissa. Okay, um, I think I'm just going to use Ember on Houndour. Okay. So, oh, nice. So it hits. Yeah, nice. yeah. it's definitely going to hit, Um, so okay. roll for damage. Ugh, I wish that was my damage roll. Hey! Oh, that was incredible. Wait, I haven't seen your damage. Did it load? It's 18. Again, I got 18 again. Well, that's not how you roll damage. Damage is a d6. Fuck. Okay. Um, that was really funny, though. Okay, I got a okay. four. I got a four. So you got a four, but um, you're using it against a fire type, and fire resists fire. Okay. Oh. Pretty sure. Um, yeah. Pretty sure this guy resists fire. So he'll only take two of that as damage. Oh, okay. Dang. So the okay. hound door has taken two damage. All right. So they're still in the green? Yeah. Yeah, they're definitely still in the green. Yeah. And okay. uh, now it's Reggie's turn. Unless you okay. want to do anything else, Lee. Nope, I'm good. Okay. Um. So I guess I'm going to... I want this hound door, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm going to... Get OP out, and I'm going to make him use Tackle on a Hondor. Okay. So I'll roll a d20. Okay. Ooh. And then... Yes, I'll that roll. will hit. Okay, and then I'm going to roll sure. again. Five. Okay, oh, so for damage, uh, you don't roll a d20 again. Oh, for right. Tackle. True. I don't have tackle offhand, but I think it's either a D6 it's, or a D8. It's D6. D6. Yeah. Oh, actually, well, that's fine. That's too late. Uh, D6. And, and what do you add to it? I add plus two. Yeah. Okay. So you did six damage to the Houndour. Mm -hmm. So the Houndour uh, has just gotten into yellow. Ooh. Which means it's at okay. half health. Hold on. Uh, cool. And then, then it will jump to the Slugma's turn. No one's engaged it yet, so it's <laughs> just gonna slide, slide <laughs> down a little bit. It's gonna slide over here, um, and it's not gonna attack because yeah, no one's attacked it yet. Doesn't doesn't really feel the need. Mind in his own business. But Houndour <laughs> is you know a lot less happy with what's happening. He looks like um, that monkey meme where he's like side eyeing, just like. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> <laughs> and he's gonna hop back a little bit and shoot an ember at uh lily pop because lily pop oh. hurt it a lot so it will roll oh. does a Ooh, that's a... it does a 17 hit um and what is that against again Sorry. your ac i mean it's definitely gonna hit but you should check yeah. My AC <laughs> um, is yeah. yes okay so it's definitely gonna hit um mm -hmm. so then i'll do six um plus two okay Ooh, it does barely any damage it does three so it just uh it hits lily pup but you know just like sears some some fur and gives it a little tiny Little tiny hit. So it does three damage? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. Wait, how do we catch Pokemon? Like, how do we know when it's time to throw the ball and stuff? Okay, I can go through how that works. So, to catch a Pokemon on your turn as an action, 
So like instead of your Pokemon attack game, you would throw a ball. Um, so what, when you pick that, when you say, I'm going to throw a Pokeball, you pick a Pokeball you want to throw, uh, and then you throw it. So that throwing it is an animal handling check, which means you roll a d20. Mm -hmm. um, wait, what, what is this posted? Oh, that's me. Oh, okay. So you roll a d20, and you're trying to beat a DC, which is like what the, the number you need to beat, mm -hmm. of 10 plus the Pokemon's SR, which mm -hmm. um, for these are like between 0 and like 1 or 2. Plus the level of the Pokemon. So for these, it's level one. Plus the remaining mm -hmm. health um, divided by 10, rounded down. So, Are you serious? So. Are you serious? What? That's so much math. Is there like a formula? You can just like pull. Sorry. Oh, yes. well, I have to do all that math. You guys just have to roll. Oh, okay. nice. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. No, that, that that's all on me. Um, okay. <laughs> but it's actually not that much math. Like for these ones. Well, I shouldn't tell you the numbers, but they're not that high. Um, so what you'll add, you'll roll a d20, and you'll add to animal animal handling. Okay. So, can I can I please throw a pokeball? Wait, uh, is it, turn? it is not your turn, oh. so you cannot throw a pokeball. <laughs> please. Can I, may I please throw a pokeball? Oh, no, my turn. So, <laughs> but it is Drifloon's turn now. So that's the last other Pokemon. And Driftloom, Driftloom is going to... Driftwood. <laughs> since it's not been attacked either, it's actually just going to try to drag Cymex away. <laughs> so it's going to move, it's going to get this far, and it's going to roll a d20, and then you're, you're also going to roll a d20. You might actually, sorry, you might not move that far. Here, roll, roll a d20 for me. This is a strength <laughs> check. So if I beat you, which, what's your strength? Mm, hold on, with the trainer page load. Um, plus two. Okay, so you're, this thing is plus one, so it's just barely gonna beat you. So it's only gonna move five feet. It's gonna try to. It's gonna drag you five feet down. Sorry, yeah. Should we save Simex? <laughs> so it's gonna drag you that far, and then it's not gonna attack or anything. It just wants Simex. So. Oh boy. <laughs> We're just like trying to catch this Houndour and then taking away Simex. Um, but now. It actually loops back to Cymax. So. It oh, is I'm, just, your I'm like. Turn. I'm like excited because that gets me close to this slug thing. And I'm like, ooh. Mm, that looks, like, looks a like a bug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so you're excited to see it. Mm -hmm. Is it just a question? In po My character should know this already, but just yeah. a question how Pokemon things work. Having only collected the cards before uh -huh. and watched anime in the nineties, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is it better to get get the Pokemon like down in health first before you get them? Does that do anything, or can you just go for it? Yeah. So if you if you listen to, uh, to the like the the thing I ran through, HP's yep. factor is its HP divided by ten. So each ten HP adds one to how hard it is to catch. Right, okay. so um, these Pokemon are pretty weak. So Drif Drifloom actually has more than twenty health, but the other two don't. Mm -hmm. So like the fact that since Houndor is at half health and it has less than twenty, like hurting it anymore really doesn't do anything because it's already at like the lowest. Because it rounds down, it's already at the lowest. Oh. Um, it can be, but the other way to help you besides throwing a better Pokeball, a more expensive Pokeball, is if you sleep it or poison or confuse it or anything like that. You get an advantage on the roll, so you get to roll twice, and you get to take the better one. Okay. Um. Um. So I'm gonna throw confusion. Tell Vinny to make the slug confused. Okay. So Means I will roll the d20 first, and then the one d8 plus move. Right. Wait, what? You said you're doing supersonic, right? No, confusion. Oh, you're doing confusion. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then roll. Then yeah, roll a d20, and then we'll do damage. Ooh. Um. Plus. Wait. Does that count as? Do I use compound eyes on that? Yes. That's not this is an attack, so you do add one for compound eyes. Plus two for proficiency. Yep. And then is it? I, I thought it was like plus two. It used to be like plus five. There's plus two. For, I'm sorry. Oh, plus right. two for 
efficiency plus one for compound eyes and then what what's the move for the, what move do you use on confusion is it wisdom or is it intelligence like what move power is it yes it's intelligence or wisdom oh it's either so which of those is higher and what is it wisdom and it's zero oh okay so you just don't add anything so you'll add the plus two three. and the plus one so three to okay that. so well which hits so you can roll oh. for damage so that's a 1d8 plus thank you for walking through the maths every single time with me i really appreciate it mm -hmm. it's been a while uh, has been a while where's the move how do you figure out your move so the there? move is the wisdom or intelligence score right so you'd add zero oh, okay so i don't add anything yes that, that's why when you do tackle you add plus two is because your strength is plus two but your oh, intelligence I'm is zero stupid okay i get it well not that stupid but yeah <laughs> <laughs> a little bit well Vinny is um, well, I was talking about Vinny. I don't know. You maybe you're a dumb, dumb person. I don't know. But Vinny's not that dumb. <laughs> and then it's his damage bonus plus one. Is that if it? What is that? Oh, I think those are wrong. I think those are things you have to fill in yourself. Um, because okay. that means like what the move is. Okay. Oh. Oof. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Slugma like you know feels a slight confusion hit it, but it's really not too dazed. Um, so it took one damage. Nice. It is unsurprisingly still in good health. <laughs> okay. So it is now Lee's turn. Woo! Woo! Okay, so, um, now I really want to throw that Pokeball still. Okay. So I'm going to choose, I'm just going to do the normal, one of my nine Pokeballs. Sounds good. And, okay, so, I got this. Okay, so I roll this oh yeah you what? definitely catch it yeah oh no yeah. so the pokeball Man. hit down door you know it does that bounce off and it catches it you know it drops down it only wiggles once before it locks in and you've caught your second nice. your your second Pretty pokemon ah! I'm sorry, I and really then now you, I feel bad. that's okay oh. I'm sorry. So Houndour, I will tell you, once you collect it, it'll only have eight health because they keep health. So it'll only have, and you'll have to like make a new character sheet for this, which only takes like a second. You just like duplicate yeah. the other one. Not too and, bad. You'll, and you'll give, make it for Houndour and you'll make it have eight health. Um, okay. But that's your turn. Um, you can move and your Pokemon can move, but that's all the actions you can take. Okay, well, I guess um, I'm done. Well, maybe I, I don't really need to move. I mean, maybe I should get closer to that uh, drift bloom. Okay. Yeah, I kind of want to maybe move a little bit closer because I might need to swoop in for a little rescue. You know. Well, you can move yourself if you'd like. You can move up to up to thirty feet, well, which is six you. spaces. Yeah, give me like right next to that. Uh... Like right here. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you've ran up to it. I'm assuming is Sass Master with you up next yes, to it? Of course, okay. Yeah. Oh, let me get them too. Okay. Um, and I guess you'll have to collect the ball later. I think the ball just sits there. I don't think it teleports back oh. to you. So you have to go pick it up. Yeah. Yeah. Stop. Let's say that. I don't think they oh, fly back to you. They do when you throw them yourself. I don't think when you catch them, they just sit there. So that's true. You have Wait, to pick so it up. I never picked it up. Well, you have to go. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you have to pick it up. Still, it's on the oh, ground. Well, I don't want it. Then I don't want to go to Driftbloom. I want to go pick up the ball. <laughs> okay, you're not gonna be able to reach it. I'll say you can almost get there. You're gonna be like five feet away from it. Like okay. you could get like okay. this close. Oh, sorry. Oh, you got it. You can probably get so, but like you're five feet away from it still. So you're almost oh, there. Okay. All right. But no way. Okay. That that will be your turn, and then we'll jump to Reggie. Whatever he okay. wants to do. Um, I guess I'm gonna. I might as well get experience out of it. So I'm gonna attack the drift warrior. Okay, with what? With uh, with Reggie with Opie. I'm gonna use bite. Oh shit! You have bite. Nice. Yeah. Aww. So I'm gonna roll. A, what do I roll? A D20 first. Yep. Right? So D20. Ten. 
plus two? Yes. Yes. Plus, plus your strength or your dex, whatever bite takes. I think bite probably takes strength. Yeah, it's just strength or dex. All right, so whichever one's higher, you add that as well. Okay, so plus two. And then so what is that? What, what's the number? 12. 12? Oh, well, it should be 14, because you add your proficiency, which is two, and then you add your strength, which is two. So it's oh, four. Oh, right. Yes. Um, Sorry. Yeah, you add them both. So you fit to 14, but that does hit. So yeah, it bites onto Drift Bloom. Maybe it's other hand, the one that Cymex isn't holding on to. <laughs> yeah, jump up some bites it. So roll for damage. Okay, so it's 1d10. Oh, dang. Plus, plus move. So plus two. Great, yeah. So you, uh, it's actually it's a ghost type, so you do double damage. So nice. you do twenty, um, and you knock it down, and it's in in pretty bad shape. It's definitely in red health. Uh, it's definitely not having a good time right now, and it probably doesn't look like you'll be able to drag Cymex very far because it's definitely hurting. So it's it's it, you've red barred this drift bloom, drift bloom. Nice. Sounds good. Um, are you gonna do anything else, like any movement or anything like that? Otherwise, it's can I like, can I, like punch it and finish it off? <laughs> the train. No, only you or your Pokemon can take an action. Okay, yeah, I'm done then. Um, also, a punch would miss because it'd be a normal attack or a oh, fighting. Okay. Either one, it would miss. You'd miss the the drift wound. That's, that's fair. So you'd look like an idiot. But <laughs> um, so Slugma has been attacked now, so it's gonna <laughs> scoot know. over. It's gonna oh, scoot no. over to. It's gonna. Drift Bloom's floating, so it's also gonna. It's gonna occupy. We're gonna say it occupies the same spot, but it's gonna be. I want them to both be visible, and it's gonna use smog on oh, Vinny. Oh. <laughs> what do I have to do for that? Oh wait, one second. This might hurt everyone inside of it. Isn't that, yeah, it sounds like an area thing. Yeah. Um. Where's Vinny located? With you, right? Yeah. Always. Okay. Oof, this is actually kind of bad. It's, it's going to use yawn. Oh. Uh, I'm going to and take damage. <laughs> You're going to activate what? Oh, no. <laughs> and take damage myself. I'm just joking. <laughs> um, so I will... Where did so it's going to yawn at Vinny, and that means, let's see here. Oh, I guess this isn't even like a check. So if Vinny is still in battle, at the end of its next turn, it falls asleep. Oh. Um, <laughs> which is unfortunate for because you only have one Pokemon. But if you had more, you could just switch it out, but you don't. So. You have Metapod. Oh, you do have Metapod. Yeah, you can switch, if you switch it out, then that's fine. Like it won't go to sleep. It only goes to sleep by the end of your next turn. Which oh it's so not I could switch it out this turn or next turn. No so your next turn, um if it's still in at the end of your next turn, your it goes to sleep, if that makes sense. And then I can switch it out with Metapod. No, you switch it out before well you can switch it out anytime you want on your turn, right? But if you switch it out next turn before your turn ends. So if you don't do anything with Vinny, then it won't go to sleep, and Metapod will just come out. But if you don't switch him out, like if you throw a Pokeball, if you wanted to like catch Drifloon or something like that, it would fall asleep because you wouldn't switch it out. I think. Unless it's... Yeah, I think. I think it takes a full action to switch a Pokemon out. So, let's see here. Are you all muted? Okay, cool, cool, cool. What so, up? So change your Pokemon. Yeah, so it is an action to switch it out. Um, okay. So I can still do that next turn because it'll fall asleep at the end of next turn. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. But I think if, if it falls asleep and then you end battle, I'm pretty sure you can just like, it'll just wake up, you know, because like while you're walking around, it would take enough time hmm. for it to wake up. I'm trying to remember how sleep works now. I feel like in the, in the games, like if Pokemon just stays asleep. I know, but like if I just let it out and walked around and held it, like it would wake up eventually. 
Right. Yeah. I think that like that was Grim Reaper, Ned's mind. Yeah, I think I think it's easier. I would prefer that too. Instead of just having a slap on the whole time. Yeah, it's kind of weird that it doesn't wake up outside of battle, honestly. Yeah. I do not see... Oh, here we go. I found it. Okay, yeah. So the second bat combat ends, your Pokemon wakes up. I mean, yeah, okay. it'll wake up. It, Yeah, it wakes up and it becomes unconfused. If it is confused, but it's not. But if it was. Oh, nice. <laughs> that's in real life. Yeah. You just have an argument and then you're fine or something. <laughs> Okay, makes sense. So, so yeah, if, if this battle were to end, like right after it went to sleep, it wouldn't matter because it would just wake up anyways. Yeah. Um. Cool. So I'm going to. Try oh, to it's actually sleep. Drifloom's turn, real quick. I think I might have okay. misspoken before. So Drifloom is now not super happy that it just got almost killed. <laughs> so it's going to. Sorry, Does it still hold my hand? <laughs> it has not let go yet. Um, are you are you grabbing it too? Yeah, I'm still holding on. Okay, wow. then it's like not going to be able to fly away, or it'll make a check here. We'll, we'll make a check. Roll a d twenty. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, it can't. And not only can it not get away, you pretty much just grab it and like you're hugging it at this point. <laughs> like you, like you just have it completely surrounded. It can't get away. What's with me and like holding Pokemon? <laughs> Driftloon is probably so confused. Like, oh, he's supposed to be kidnapping you and you're just like grabbing it. Classic Cymax. Ah. So, yeah, you now have complete control. You, you've uh, restrained it or whatever. So, any any attacks or rolls against it, so like Pokeball throws, will have advantage. Um, so, like, you'll, because you're like restraining it, kind of, mm. if that makes sense. That's how that works. So, so I could try for the drift bloom. Yeah, easily. Yeah, and it only and it's in red bar, so it has very little health. So this is probably the best time to try if you're going to. You're okay. Trash. I'm it, like it is Cymex's turn as well now. Oh my god, I want some experience, please. <laughs> you get oh wait, real quick, you get a fifth of the experience for catching stuff. So you guys will get some experience. It'll just be less. Well, you got. <laughs> okay. But yeah, you will still get some. You just not like you don't get any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm still focused on the slug then. How's that? Is that okay? Dang, you don't want the drift it's in fine. your hand? You can, you can catch it. It's okay. It's fine. It's I would definitely catch this. You can Might as well. Right up in your hands and you have it restrained. It's like, <laughs> I'm a little worried about it. So I, I press the D20, right? Yeah. Roll a D20. Okay. Okay. So you'll get a roll twice because you have advantage. And then does compound eyes count for that? No, compound eyes is for Vinny. <laughs> um, this is Cymex doing something. Ah, okay. So with that 13, you're going to add animal handling, which is four plus two plus four. Plus. Probably plus four if I had to guess. No, it's plus two. Plus two. Athletics is plus four. Damn. What? Okay. Um, wait, is it wisdom based? What is it based? What is? Sorry, I just want to make sure. Do your thing. That's correct. Oh, okay. It's already it's already factored in for you. You don't have to. It does it for you. So you're definitely right. Okay. So you rolled a fifteen, and Drift Bloom is. So you press the ball against it, and it shoots inside. It wiggles around a couple times in your hand, and you catch it. You got it. You have oh, a drift boom. Oh, oh. Um, you right. have it in your hand. You don't have to grab it like Lee does, and it has two health. Um, I plop back down on the ground a little bit. I'm like, wow, it saved me, so I saved it. <laughs> <laughs> um, if that's the end of your turn, your Vinny is going to fall asleep. And then it moves on to Lee's turn. Wait, what XP do we get? Can we do the You're not done yet. Slugma's still there. Okay, okay, okay. So this one's gone. Now it's just Slugma. And he's he's real pissed because he got hit with a confusion. Oh he's a little, no. A little angry. He's angry and confused. Um, Gaze. um wait, where'd Vinny go? 
accidentally deleted Vinny. Hold on. Okay. Oh, well, yes, it is your turn, Lee. Do what you um, want. Can I please just pick up the Pokeball now? Yes. You, <laughs> you, have, you have acquired that Pokemon, which is a Houndor. So you've got it. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to meet my new friend, my new fire type Pokemon. Aww. We'll say you can still take an action too. Like that didn't take your action. Okay. Um. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what I should do. I mean, I don't know if I should let it out because, like, you know, we just met. I don't want to do anything crazy. Maybe I should heal it first. I don't know. Whatever what you think your okay, character just would do. The next person's turn. This is too much pressure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's, it's, uh, Reggie's turn. Okay. Um, I guess I'm going to, uh, battle Slugma. I guess I'll attack Slugma. Um, yeah. so I'll use, I'll tell Opie to use, uh, I'm going to tell to use Bite. Okay. Roll for... So, let's see. Plus four is ten. Ooh, you miss. Yeah. The bite okay. bites right above Slugma kinda like it's a liquid, so it kinda like morphs around it, you know. The the bite right. just barely misses it. Uh, I just feel uh, like Yeah, but Obi's right next to Slugma trying to bite it. So that would be your turn. And now uh -huh. it's Slugma's time. Now Slugma is gonna use Smog this turn. So it's going to make Smog kind of right around it, right in front of it. So I'm going to pretend you were Opie. So oh, okay. it's like... I put, I put Opie there. Where? He's like really small to the... Oh, he is really small. Just kidding. I didn't see that. Oh, he's gonna, it's going to use it on Opie. So a 15-foot radius, which is like three of these blocks. Now yeah. if you start your turn there, you have to take 1d4 damage plus 1. So yeah, one d four damage plus one. Dang. And if then you make a con save, and if you fail, you're poisoned. The Pokemon is. Oh, oh my god. Um. Oh well, there's a bunch of stuff. Dang. Okay, and then also trying to attack it, well, because it's inside the smog, you have disadvantage. Mm. And the smog dissipates at the beginning of its next turn. Yikes. What is happening? What are these sounds? Yeah, what is the what are these sounds? I think it's Calvin. It might have been me also, but I moved the bag. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think it was I think both of you guys. But <laughs> no, I think both of you guys are contributing. <laughs> sorry, um, I'm, I'm eating <laughs> pecans. <laughs> that's okay. Okay. Um so that sucks. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, but it's not that much damage. So it's I end its turn, and that means it's Cymax's turn. So Vinny, who is asleep, will need to. Gee, I should roll this. Uh, roll D four. Vinny went to sleep. Metapod automatically came out. No, you have to do that. I do that. Yeah. Maybe I miss. I might have misguided Wait, I you. you. That's not. I thought you did that last turn. Like I thought you chose to <laughs> switch to Metapod. If you throw a Pokeball, that's an action, and then switching is also an action, and you only get one. Uh, so she okay. threw a Pokeball, which I think was the right move, but it made Vinny go to sleep. But, I mean, I don't think this battle is going to last that much longer. I think it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> um, you must know yeah. we'll be awake in a second. Um, yeah. I switched to Metapod. Okay. Well, it's still... Let's see here. It still began its turn there, so it's going to take three damage before the switch. Oh, Vinny? Yeah. That's stupid. <laughs> that was good. Um, 15? And then if you can roll a con saving throw. Constitution for yes. Vinny? Me. Yes. For Vinny or for me? For Vinny. Okay, it's a saving throw. I get plus yes. two. Okay, so D20 plus two is going to be... <laughs> Ooh, so Vinny's... Oh, wait, Vinny can't be poisoned because it's already asleep, I'm pretty sure. 
so it doesn't really matter because if you fail that you get poisoned but i'm pretty sure since you're asleep it doesn't matter oh just kidding it's different in this game so you do get poisoned wow. um my baby but i am bug poison type mm. oh i'm isn't poison resistant to poison? yeah i feel like yes i think you're right i don't think you can get poisoned through poison type moves oh yeah you're right yeah yeah, yeah. you're good Vinny's all good. Vinny just takes two damage. Actually, Vinny takes one damage because oh. it's divided in half. Because it does less damage, if that makes sense. It's a poison type move. Hell yeah. I'm here for it. So, I really messed that up. But yes, Vinny takes one damage. <laughs> okay. Now it is whatever... Well, I guess your Metapod came out. So, wherever you want to put that, it can be wherever. Um... Because you can like throw it up to like thirty feet or whatever. I can throw. Well, yeah, you don't always have to like throw them at your feet. You know, you can like throw the pokeball. Like if you don't want the pokeball right next to Slugma, you can like throw it, you know, farther away a little bit. Yeah, like that. That's a reasonable distance. That's also a reasonable distance. There we go. Okay. Go to the pod. So that ends your turn, and now it is Lee's turn, and there's oh. only a Slugma left. Oh, okay. Well, I suppose... And the Slugma has been trying to attack us. It has. Okay. You well, can try to run away if you want. Uh, that's, that still is an option, but... Well, I can't abandon my friends, you know. Well, like, the whole group would run away. It wouldn't just oh, be okay. you. Oh, okay. Then maybe we should all run away. Um. So how that would work? Are you guys fine with that? If you guys don't want to, then Did continue you fighting. Do battle the Slugma for experience? Yeah, let's just, let's just battle it. Okay, then we'll do it for experience then. So I'm going to attack some um, with Sass Master. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to roll a D2. Okay, so it hits. Yeah. Yep. And then these. Oh, shit. Okay, so it's one. Um, and this is Sass Master using Ember. I'm going to use Ember again. Um, but then it's also a fire type. So. The, do you have like any other, other moves or like. I just have Tail Whip and Baby Doll Eyes. Uh, okay. Dang. That's or all Volpix another... gets? Wait, should I have another move? Probably. Whoa. You probably have more moves... than Baby Doll Eyes. How many moves do you get okay, at level yeah, two? I have quick... um, so starting moves, it says Ember Tail Whip. Oh, for some reason, this character, she wasn't updated. I'm sorry. It should have Quick Attack as well. Oh, um, yeah. I'm sorry about that. Can I use quick attack instead? Is that okay? Well, so quick attack is actually a bonus action, so you can you would use both probably. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Let so put, let me put it in so I got the info right here. Um. God, you're from fucking rocks. It's so. Wait, cute. but isn't it normal type? So wouldn't that not affect it anyway? No, no. Oh, I'm he's just talking about slugma. slugma. Oh, right, slugma. Duh. Yo, where the frick is quick attack? Here, I have it. It's a D4. Okay, okay, okay. Thank but you, you. you'd have to make a separate roll. So that first roll, yeah. that first roll is just for Ember. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a and, one. But it critted, so we're going to add six, because we add the max roll. So it'll, oh. you'll add six, and you add one to that, so seven, which rounds down. I think we, I think we round down, rounding down, so it's like mm -hmm. three okay. damage. Um, and then, then you'd roll quick attacks, so now you'd roll the hit, so you'd roll another D20. Another D20. For your quick attack. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, 11, 11. And then you'd add two for your proficiency. Okay, 13. And then oh, you'd yeah. add... Okay, okay, okay. And then 13. And then I already rolled the D4. Um. Well, I think it hits. Let me look and make sure. So I rolled a 13. Yep, you hit. Um. Nice. And yeah, we can count that as the three. And you don't have any mm -hmm. dex bonuses, so it's just as three damage. Yeah. So... It is still in green health, but it has taken some more Shit. damage now. Okay. Well, it's only right, been hit by one turn. damage before this turn. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so now it is Reggie's turn. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use Bite again. So. T20. Plus four. Oh, Just yeah, you two. definitely hit. You definitely okay. hit. Okay. And now D10 plus two. Is this four? 
Yeah, you knock it into yellow health. It takes a oh, bite out of it. I guess it just bites lava and is totally <laughs> chill. His mouth doesn't get burned. Um, He's a very and, sturdy boy. And Slugma is into... Oh, I should also say, you're within the smog radius. So you, you oh, roll, right. I should roll a d4, actually. And But you should roll a d20 to see if you okay. get poisoned. Okay. 18. You're good. You don't get poisoned. Yeah. Ooh, it nice. does do four damage though to you. Oh, oh my god, that's a lot. Yeesh. Okay. So now it's going to be Slugma's turn. It's just going to yawn. Um, like I said, it doesn't look like yawn. You can't really do anything about it. It's like it just happens. It's not like you have a chance to dodge it. So okay. it looks like it just happens. So yawn is that next turn. If you end your next turn with that Pokemon still out, it goes to sleep. So it uses Yawn and Opie? Yeah. Yeah, okay. sorry, on Opie. Yeah, yeah. It uses Yawn and Opie. And okay. then it ends its turn. So right. it's now back to Cymax, who has Metapod out. Metapod, use Harden. <laughs> Did you like, does pick that. up the Metapod and like smack it? <laughs> Like, can I do that? Uh, <laughs> yeah, know. yeah, you could do that. <laughs> it's only gonna do like one damage. Anything counts. Metapod. Harden. What? Harden helps Metapod. For what does it help us attack this Pokemon? Uh huh. If Metapod hardens enough, it's good for it. Good for what? Did <laughs> <laughs> all of this change? Just smack it. Just smack it with your Metapod, please. Why? What? <laughs> so we can bring it down and finish the battle. Wait, if Metapod uses Harden, that's good for Metapod, right? Because if it uses Harden enough... It just raises defense. Like, it doesn't... Yeah, it raises its AC. It doesn't attack or anything, though. Cymex doesn't was... have to hit it with a metapod if Cymex does not want to. Like, That's fine. That's fair. <laughs> only if their character would want to pick up their Pokemon and hit a ball of lava with it. <laughs> um, no, I would like to protect my beautiful bug Pokemon. That seems but more I in character. If you harden like five times, it goes up like a little bit or something. Anyway. What goes up? I don't know. Your AC oh, goes up each it's... time by it's... one. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you have plus one AC. It is good. It just doesn't do damage. I mean, all Reggie wants is damage. And we just need damage. We so, need the dots. <laughs> so now it's uh, Lee's turn again. It does it? Really? it yeah, can... it hardens. Okay. It hardens. I don't think you have to roll uh, anything for harden. It just works. Pretty sure. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna try that same Ember and uh, Quick Attack combo again. So let me do... The D twenty seventeen plus the, uh, I know it's gonna hit. I think it's plus yeah plus two for my. Yep, efficiency. it hits. So it hits, and then for damage, let me do the D six. That's a four, but it's a fire type. So it'll so, do two. So it'll do two. So it cuts it in half. Am I getting that right? Yeah. Sorry, I was just making sure I had it right. Okay. So then the quick attack, I'm gonna roll another D twenty. That's an eight. Holy crap! Okay. Yeah. I know I'm getting some good ones, and then I'm gonna roll the D four. I got a three. Okay, so you've you knocked it around. And it's definitely in red. It's barely hanging on there. Nice. Um, nice. But it is still up. So, yeah. Oh, oh, whatever. And then uh, Reggie, it's your turn. Yes. Okay. It's definitely All right, in the red. All right, Opie, take it home. I'm gonna make him use bite again. So D twenty. <laughs> Fuck. That's <laughs> nine. <laughs> Actually, that's enough because you'll add it a lot. It's yes! eleven. Well, it's eleven yeah. first of all. Oh, oh, but it's plus two, so that's nine. Well, plus two, plus two. Oh, right. Plus two for Sorry, proficiency, yes, and then 11. plus two for dex or whatever. So it's eleven, yes. which is enough. So you will hit it. So awesome. you're gonna knock this bad boy out, whatever you roll, because it only has one health left. So uh, Opie slams into it <laughs> and throws the the slugma back back along here against these <laughs> rocks and it's fainted it's done its eyes are has the crosses in it and oh, you yeah. guys won you guys have won Woo, we did so, it oh my Woo. goodness slugma rewards like no 
XP at all. Oh Sorry. my god. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, it's so Sorry. bad. Drift Bloom awards some, so here. What a I waste mean, so, of They time. all award some, but 40. Okay. 1,500. What to poop do we get? Oh my goodness. Um, You only get 160, but it's oh between the four Pokemon that battled. So Cymex's oh both get 40, <laughs> and then the other two also get 40. Because Cymex is the only one that used two Pokemon, and it's split evenly. Oh, that's nothing. That's nothing. <laughs> yeah, that is nothing. <laughs> well, look, the, point? The, the point of catching expeditions is mostly to catch Pokemon. They caught Pokemon, but I caught nothing. You could have caught that. Slugma. Slugma sucks. All right, let's just be honest. Slugma only awards twenty points, twenty XP, really? which is really weird. Let's find another one. Right, Drift Bloom awards three hundred and sixty, and they're the same level. So. Oh my goodness, that's so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so you guys have won this battle. So I'm gonna Great. I'm gonna delete this this thing. Mm -hmm. Um, do keep track of your PP yeah. uh, for sure, because I think Quick Attack only has three PP, so you only have one left, Lee. I'm pretty sure. What is PP? Power points. That's how many times you can use an attack before you need to like rest and get, and then you'll be able to use them again. This one, when I typed it in on my spreadsheet, it says it has 15 PP. Oh, well, that's great. Then you can oh, use it 13 okay. times. I guess I thought it was, huh, anyway. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot. This is like 10, 15, 20, 10. Oh, Quick Attack does have 15. I must have been remembering some other thing. Yeah, but, but yeah, it is a lot. Has... It's so you don't have to heal every battle. I mean, you guys should be able to do yeah. multiple battles yeah. without having to heal, more or less. Yeah. But I only have 12 for Ember. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. All right. Um. So. <laughs> oh, by the way, I have to. Um, We should catch a Pokemon for Reggie, but probably after that, I have to go. Yeah, same. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But we definitely got to get a, a Reggie a Pokemon if we have time. Okay. Um, where do you guys want to go next then? Now where that we're here. Well, we explored Me? the volcano. Me. I say we go back up to the cave. I kind of want to go into the yeah, cave. Let's go there. Yeah, let's try it. Okay. okay. So one okay. turn there. Who's and who to roll? rolls? You should roll because you're. Yeah. First, you start. Okay. So, nothing okay. happens. You're fine. All right. Then Let me this roll. way again. Okay. <laughs> you get in a battle. Oh. So. Oh, what is it? <laughs> roll initiative right now. Yeah, you'll roll initiative. Um, okay. I, don't know what happens. I hope it's something good. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, oh dang. Okay, so Catherine's a lot. Gotcha. Um not rolled me for something good. Ugh. <laughs> okay, cool. Let me make this real quick and then I'll intro it. I was wondering what that was. Is that a uke? A yuki? Yes. Mm, those chords are sounding good. Thank you. Can you play under the rainbow? Over, Over the, the rainbow? rainbow? Over the rainbow. <laughs> yeah, sure. And can you sing at the same time? Yeah. Oh my god. That is off.
Yeah. That's fine. dreams that you dream of dreams really do come true. That's where you'll find me. Are you done with setting up the battle? We want blood. Did you finish setting up the battle? Did you finish setting up the battle? Well, I feel like we're in an episode of Steven Universe right now. <laughs> like Simex is the Steven of our group, just playing little ditties on the. Uh, I feel like it should be canon. Simex has uh, a uke and a she uke. play songs for us. I'm a bard now. Yeah. Simex can have that if they want. They can just play the Metapod, just attach a string to it. And then just oh play my the god, string. yes. <laughs> Metapod is out, and I have woven some sort of branch. Some webbing. Some kind of web. <laughs> It's like those guitars that you make when you're like five. Yeah, it's like a harp. Okay, so okay, so you have you have walked into a new battle. So yes. I will go over what is what. The the hoot hoots are geo dudes, <gasps> and they're fighting these coffins. There's two coffins. Where? Here. They're the they're the middle oh, rands. So you guys, this is the way out. Um, so you guys like are happening into this. Like this is the way you're going to get out of this cav this volcano. Mm -hmm. And then the Snorlax is a panseer that's uh, running along these rocks. So panseer's a little fire monkey. Uh -huh. um, mm -hmm. So it's a little fire monkey, two geodudes, and two coffins that are having a little battle that right in front of you. So let's roll for initiative. Okay. Wait, I thought we already did that. Okay. It's a new battle. Yeah. So you have to roll again. This no, is we another just did this one. when we went into the thing. Yeah, it was 28 well, before, seven. before you said Oh, you did do that. Yeah, we did do that. See, can well, what were the numbers? 22 for me, 8 for Reggie, and it's 7 actually six. for It's 6 for me. 6 for Reggie, and 7 for Lee. Okay, so it so looks like Cymex will go first. For Cymex, the Pan Seer, um then lee uh, then reggie then the coffins and the geodude geodudes oh, okay cool 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 um let me write down their house okay. too geodude, geodude, coffin, coffin. so it is cymax's turn whatever you want to do um i have metapod out right yeah, well, whatever you want to do. Well, I guess if you, you tied him and started playing him, yeah, you definitely have to have Metapod yeah. out. Okay. Can I, since I have Drifloon, can I get Drifloon out? Yeah, but if you started your battle with... You can start it with whatever you want. Yes, you can switch Drifbloom. Drifbloom hasn't healed, so it will have uh, two health. Oh, I thought it was three. Okay, two? Yeah, two HP. If a Pokemon, like... It runs out of HP, does it automatically switch to the next in your lineup? You get to pick which one you throw out next, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it automatically does. You don't have to take an action, it just happens. Um, cool. But I don't, yeah. 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 Sorry. That is correct, so. It won't gain XP, though, if it faints. Whatever. Okay. Uh, uh, can I use constrict uh yeah on what so if you want to like on. move your stuff so i can see what's what's happening who is the closest the coffins are the closest i think those are all you can reach within melee range okay i'm gonna go for um coughing number one which is the close one or the far one whichever uh, one you want just move it and i'll 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 do whatever I need to do. 
the coughing number one, mm-hmm. that one, um, constrict. Uh, oh, I see the one now. I see you. Okay. Yeah. Roll for, I don't know how constrict works. Roll for whatever. <laughs> one T. Um, wrap yourself around a creature and trying to squeeze the life from them. Make a melee attack roll. Melee? Me- melee. Melee. It, you, the target takes 1d4 plus move normal damage. Mm. And grapple. Um, at the beginning of its turn, it may attempt to escape with a strength saving throw against your move DC. As long as the target is grappled on your subsequent turns, this move can be activated again as a bonus action with an automatic hit, dealing 1d4 normal damage. Okay. So you have to roll the hit first? Yes. Which is... Is it plus two? Yes, proficiency. Okay. Four. Do not hit. It might... I mean, you're not going to hit either way, but you might also add, like, strength or dex or something. Whatever your strength or dex is for Drift Moon. Oh, okay. Plus another two. Okay. Well, yeah, it, it misses for sure, but I just want to make sure you're doing the numbers right. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, yeah, you are next. Uh, Wait. Yeah. It, is, uh, it has the ability Shed Skin. So if this Pokemon is affected by a negative status ailment, they can roll a d4 at the end of each turn, and if on a result of four, they are cured. So that's like if you're poisoned or something, then you yep. can roll a d4 at the end of the turn. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Does that count if they are like confused or sleeping? What does it say? It says a negative status ailment. Yeah, it would it would account for sleeping, confused, flinched, poison, frozen, burn, or paralyzed. Any of those. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Okay. So. Uh, <laughs> Wait, is, is this Drifloon? It has to be up next to it to do Constrict. So I'll just move it. You oh, can move you. it whatever spot you want, but it needs to be, yeah, be next to it. Okay. Okay, next person, which is me, actually. It's Pantsir. Way. So Pantsir is going to run up along this and come over here. Oh my god, that's terrifying. And look down, but it's <laughs> not... Uh, it's going to leer at... <laughs> Sass master. <laughs> so, so I gotta uh, do something about that. Yeah, Stop. you need to roll a wiz uh yeah. Roll a D twenty. D twenty sixteen. Ooh, nice. Okay. Uh All right, yeah. I mean that's definitely gonna win. I don't Yeah. Okay. Yep, yeah, you're good. You, you nothing okay, so, happens. Cool. All right. Um, so now it is turn least turn. After. Yeah. Um. Uh, I don't know, Minnie. Is there like a Pokemon you're trying to capture that I can like attack? Um, I'm kind of looking at those Geo dudes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in range to attack. One guy have to have the same Pokemon. It's always Lily Pups and Geo dudes. What? No, the other guy's a rog and roller. His his Geodude got stolen. Oh, he had a Geodude. Okay. Yeah, no, no one. Really. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so am I in range to attack one of the Geodudes? Uh, you have Ember. So, yes, because Ember goes like 60 mm-hmm. feet. Okay, so I guess I can use Ember um, on the Geodude. So, let me roll first. There's two of them. Oh, yeah, okay, there well, are two. Ember- Whichever one, I don't know. It doesn't. Does it matter? Which one? Can I observe and see which one looks stronger? <laughs> um, Who's winning this fight between them? Well, they're not fighting. They're fighting the Coffians. Um, oh, okay. Or they're oh, about wait, to. Maybe they were like squaring up. I mm. see. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, you hit your fire hits. So <gasps> nice. Okay. And we'll say we- number two looks stronger, like marginally. Okay, okay, so I'm going. I'm going for number Good two. For I'm attacking number two. Okay. <laughs> um, and then my D six. So I got a three. And that's that's it. Isn't okay. that cut in half? It is cut in half because you is rock. Oh. oh. So number two will take one damage. I think we round down. I'm pretty sure that's what I've been doing. So that's what we'll do. Okay. 
you guys, so, I hate to interrupt, but like, I really do have to go now. I'm me. sorry about that. Okay. I, I don't know what else to do. Up, um, well, then I guess you gotta go. go.